Is your real estate funnel broken? I mean, are you generating leads but you can't seem to convert them? If the answer is yes, this video is for you. The good news is you're not alone. In this video, we're going to cover the third step in lead conversion, what I like to call the conversion experience. This way, you go from losing leads to converting leads. My passion is to help real estate agents grow their trust, authority, and local celebrity through marketing so they can grow their business by attracting better quality leads that won't want to work with anyone else. I'm Sebastian Malinowski, and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget the ringy dingy bell button. Okay, so let's talk lead conversion and how you can get better and more effective of converting the leads. Before we get into that, take a look at the description section below this video. There are many links there, including to my website where you can get free information, free content to help you as an agent grow your business through marketing. One of the biggest questions I get, one of the biggest points of frustrations for most agents is lead conversion. I get this all the time. How do I convert these leads? They take my stuff, my lead magnet, and I never see them again. I never hear from them again. They just take, take, take. You know what the funny part is? I get so many agency owners calling me, reaching out to me, emailing me, asking me these questions. And these are the same people that are serving real estate agents, charging them huge monthly fees to watch over their Facebook accounts or help them with marketing. And yet, they don't know how it's done. If I had a dollar for every time an agency owner reached out to me for help, I think you know where I'm going with this. Bob, I'd never have to work again. Yeah, I guess you can say converting leads is an issue. Let me break it down for you so you understand why lead conversion isn't working for most agents. Sometimes when I give examples that have nothing to do with the real estate industry, it's almost like a, ah, oh, now I get it. Okay, so here's the deal. Pretend you're walking to a bar and I'm gonna to talk to you as if you're a guy. If you're a lady, my apologies, but just hang with me. So you walk into a bar and you see this beautiful woman and you're very attracted to her. I mean, you just wanna take her home with you, but there's a problem, you don't know her. So what do you do? You walk up to her, you buy her a drink and you go, hey baby, you wanna come home with me? You think you may get five across the eyes? Oh, I'm pretty sure you will. Why? Because you're a creep. You can't just walk up to a stranger and say, hey, why won't you come home with me? I just bought you that drink. Besides that being extremely creepy, that's just called stranger danger. Remember that, Bob, when you were a little kid? Stranger danger. And this is the funny thing in the real estate industry. Most agents think, well, I gave you something, I gave you a lead magnet, what do you mean you don't want to be my client? Why won't you return my calls, right? The thing you gave them is a lead magnet. It's, it's not a magic pill. It's not going to magically convert that lead into a client. And by the way, just to back it up here a little bit, I'm following the Tribe Agent Roadmap. We are in the second phase, which is called Authority, and we are right here under the Convert. The previous videos, the previous two videos, I talked about how to attract the lead magnet, how to engage. This is the conversion experience, this whole section, the authority. And this video is right here on the actual conversion event. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can get a hold of this. Here's a second scenario. What if you were shopping for a car, you walked into a car dealership, the salesperson greets you with a smile. They hand you a nice, really expensive, shiny brochure. You're reading through it. You may have a question or two and you go, thanks for the information. You're about to turn around and walk away and the salesperson goes, whoa, 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 where are you going? Don't you realize I just gave you a lead magnet? Um, you're supposed to be my client. Now, how would you take that? What would you say if that person, the salesperson actually said, uh, excuse me, where are you going? You gotta buy a car from me. But see, that's the mentality in the real estate industry. Agents think that just because somebody took them up on the free offer, the lead magnet they had online, that lead is automatically somehow supposed to be your client. That's just not the way it works. 
Sounds pretty silly, right? And that's why most agents say internet leads suck. The act of somebody downloading something from your lead funnel doesn't automatically make them your client. All that means is now you have their contact information. This is where the magic actually starts. This is the part where now you have to engage them, start that relationship, give them massive value moving forward. That's not where it stops. Most agents are like, well, I gave them something, therefore they owe me something. Let me make one thing ab abundantly clear, absolutely clear. The lead doesn't owe you anything. If you're giving them something of value only to get something back, that's really not how relationships work. I hope you're not the type of agent that will only give somebody something only to get something in return. People can sense that a mile away. It's not fair for them. You can't put expectations on your lead and not tell them what those expectations are. And on top of that, that poor lead has no clue what you're thinking. Put yourself in their shoes. You just downloaded something and you're like, oh wow, cool, check this out. This is pretty cool. They're not thinking, oh, no, does this mean I'm automatically their client? Sounds kind of silly when you think about it, doesn't it? The law of reciprocity only, only kicks in after you've given somebody massive value. The act of downloading a lead magnet, that's not massive value. You've started to give them value. And, and looking, at the, looking at the tribe agent roadmap, you engage them or you attract them with your lead magnet but, but the conversion experience is a five-day process. You take them through a five-day experience. I explained this in the last video. I'll put a link up one of these corners somewhere. So here's how you actually convert the lead. For five days, you have to give them something of value every single day. You have to bring them through a story. You have to help them understand who you are and how you want to help them. You have to look at this entire process through their point of view. You see, a conversion can't happen right away. I mean, can it? Yes, it can, and it has happened, but majority of the conversions are not going to take place 15 minutes after somebody downloads your lead magnet. They don't know who you are. They've just downloaded this thing that will hopefully give them value in the moment, but that's where everything starts. Let's talk about the Godfather offer that I explained in the previous video. I'm starting to realize that I started introducing a lot of the conversion events in the previous video. So like I said, take a look at that. The conversion should happen naturally. And we don't know, I don't know, you don't know if that conversion is going to happen after day one or after day five or after day 50. But the one thing I need you to understand is just because you got a lead, it doesn't mean they're going to convert right away. But I think you already knew that. The entire, the whole reason for the conversion experience, the conversion event is to create really two things, to, to help you with two things. Number one, you should be able to see how much of your content they're consuming in the first five days. Now, let me explain something. This is not going to be a video about CRM, Customer Relationship Management, but your CRM should have the ability to track what your lead is doing online if they're on your website or how much of your content they're consuming. Of course, I love video and you should be sending them videos every day for five days and you should be able to track how much of that video they're consuming. Because here's the thing, you can't convert a lead unless they know, like, and trust you. We all know this, we've heard this a million times, but how is somebody going to get to know you, like you, and trust you? Well, through consuming your content. So your CRM should be able to track that. If somebody is watching 90% plus of all five of your videos that you're going to send them, well, that's a good sign because that's the first part the entire conversion experience should provide. The second part is to actually separate them into two parts, but that depends on what they're doing, what they're consuming. So if they are consuming your content, 
you know you should probably reach out to that lead because they may be interested in having a conversation with you. And, that, and those conversations are a lot of fun when they know who you are. Do you know how many times in the past I've called somebody and if they've consumed my content, it's like talking to a friend. That's why I call this the natural lead conversion. And that's what this part actually is. I call it convert, but it's nothing more than a natural next step. If they have a need for an agent, and if you're doing your part in providing great content and they're consuming it, the only natural next step is for you guys to start working together. And here's the thing. If you're sending them information for five days and they're not opening your emails, which you should be able to track, and they're definitely not consuming your videos, if you reach out to these people and try to have conversation, they probably won't be the same because they don't know you. If you, let's say, call them, it'll be like, what, who are you? I downloaded what from your website? That's literally how the conversations will go. Can you see why most agents have a difficult time converting? Because what they do is go from A to Z. They want to walk up to somebody in a bar and then take them home. There's no rapport. There's no friendship there. They, they don't know you, like you, or trust you yet. You can't just go from this to this. It's a process. You have to bring your lead through a conversion experience. Give them value through content. That's the only way you build a relationship. And on the fifth day, when they've consumed all your content and you give them that call to action, the Godfather offer or the one-time offer, if they are serious, they'll take you up. And if they don't take you up on that offer, that's okay too, because they may have a need for you down the line in the future. As long as they're consuming your content, there's still a good chance that you could be their agent that they want to use down the road. So your CRM should be able to track what they're doing so you know who is a priority. And the second thing, and this is where I'm going to wrap things up, a conversion can only happen if three things fall in line and they must fall in line. Number one, they actually have to move, meaning they need you at that moment, whether it's to help them buy or sell. Some people go online just to download things because they have nothing better to do. And yeah, you're going to get your fair share of these people. So number one, they must actually have a need for you. Number two, they must get to know you, like you, and trust you. That's pretty obvious. That's the only way a conversion can happen. And number three, the only way they'll get to know you, like you, and trust you is if you provide them with a great experience, give them value, bring them through a journey. So if you were looking for that magic pill, just give me this one thing to convert a lead, there, that was your magic pill. But I hope you can see it's not really difficult. It's not that magical. The problem is most agents aren't doing that. They expect that when a lead comes in, they're automatically going to be your client. And if they're not, internet leads suck. Provide value. All right, question of the day. If you can ask me just one question about lead generation and conversion, essentially the funnel, what would your question be? Please put your answer in the comment section below because if you have that question, chances are many other agents have the exact same questions. And what I wanna do is go through my comment section, pick out the ones that I think will benefit the community, and I'm going to create a video answering your questions. Bob, I think we're ready to go. Listen, like, subscribe, be bell, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, my name is Sebastian Malinowski. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.